Final Fantasy, the first, the original, Patient Zero. What can be said about the mother of one of the most influential, if not the most influential, RPG franchise in history? Well, first of all, it needs to be noted that this is an old-school, retro Nintendo RPG. This is not a game for the weak-willed. People who are used to some of the more easy games that have come out over the past 10 years or so are going to get a rude awakening playing this game. This game is a tough grindfest to the finish line. The enemies often attack in large packs. If you walk a little too far off into the wilderness, the enemies become really hard. And at that point, you have two choices. Fight them, where your chance of winning is probably something like 50%, or try to escape, and the chance of escaping from powerful enemies is also something like 50%. Of course, this RPG's difficulty is also dictated by the party you choose in the beginning. You have four different slots in your party to fill up, and you can fill them up with a bunch of different class types. You can be a fighter, a black belt, a red mage, a white mage, a black mage, and a thief. For my playthrough, I picked two fighters, just because I assumed the fighters would do good melee damage and would be able to take a lot of damage themselves. I also picked a black mage to have good magic attacks, and also white mage to heal the entire party. Just so I could keep good track of my characters, I gave them traditional names. The main character was, of course, Stan, but my white mage was Tifa, my black mage was Vivi, and my fighter, unfortunately, was named Zell. It's the only fight-themed character I could come up with at the time. I'm deeply sorry, I didn't have my coffee yet and I just wasn't thinking right. After creating my party, I was finally off on my journey. My first quest was given to me by this king to save a princess, and in gratitude for saving the princess, the king built this bridge so I can leave this island kingdom and make it to the mainland where there is more questing to be had. The original Final Fantasy is a very stereotypical RPG. It's not very rich on story, and any story that is in it is very cliché. I mean, for God's sakes, the first thing you do is save a princess. That is Video Games 101. And your party, they're called the Heroes of Light. I mean, the plot of Final Fantasy is just pure and allegorical. It's just Pierce Plowman Strife, the every RPG. Sixth Sense and the usual suspects, this is not. The combat also follows the bare-bones simplicity of the story. It's turn-based, you have your typical commands like attack, magic, and run away. You buy white and black spells from stores in the various towns. You also visit inns when you're hurt. When one of your party members has fallen, there's also a place in towns to raise them from the dead. There's item, weapon, and equipment shops, and the various NPCs in the town give you new quests, progress the game, and tell you what's going on in the area you're visiting. The combat in this game really is a grind. The enemies are tough, and the fights are as realistic as they can get. Oftentimes, your attacks miss or aren't effective. Oftentimes, you can run into really powerful enemies that can crit a character in your party and kill them in one hit. I'll tell you a really harrowing tale that happened to me. After I left the first town, I went on a pilgrimage. I was just walking through the wilderness, desperately trying to find another kingdom where I can rest up and heal my party's battle wounds because we have been fighting non-stop for like 20 minutes just walking through the forests and hills of this beautiful retro world. One of my characters actually fell in battle, but thankfully I finally found a town where I can rest up. So I run around this town, I'm so happy that, that I can finally heal my party. I, before I go into the inn, I talk to a few townspeople and they tell me that their town has been overrun by pirates. And then, I see this pirate looking guy just kind of standing there in town. I didn't even think it would be a big deal if I just talked to him before I go into the inn and heal myself, but apparently it was a big deal because this triggered a boss fight. This pirate called nine of his pirate buddies to kick my ass. So there I am, my party is all beaten up and scarred from fighting various monsters and wolves and what have you, and now I have to deal with nine pirates kicking my ass! 
keep in mind I don't even have good weapons at this point, so I'm fighting them with these weapons, they keep missing, they're hitting me, sometimes they're critting me, I mean it is a real hardcore fight to the death. And you know what? I won! And for how long and harrowing this fight was, the reward of winning was that much sweeter. You see, that's what makes the original Final Fantasy so great. The greater the difficulty curve, the more reward, the better you feel about yourselves and your skills as an RPG gamer when you beat a boss or a really tough enemy. But of course the pleasure of victory isn't the only thing I gained from ridding this town of their pirate occupiers. I got a ton of money from the pirates, and the boss of the pirates actually gave me his ship, presumably so I wouldn't kick his ass again. So what's next for my group of adventurers? Sailing the seas of course, sailing off into more distant lands, fighting evil like the warriors of light should. And don't think you're safe on your ship. There are enemies popping out of the water. I would argue that the aquatic enemies are actually harder than the land enemies to some extent. Final Fantasy 1 has a special place in RPG history. It's not the greatest RPG ever made, no. It's not even in the top 10 greatest RPGs ever made. In terms of RPG archetypes, it's very simple. It's a pure RPG with an open world for you to explore and challenging combat. They're just cool little Final Fantasy artifacts you can find in this game if you look close enough. For example, for some reason, the production team of this game called themselves Square A-Team. A pity the fool who made Final Fantasy 13. The original Final Fantasy is a good, hearty RPG. There's nothing special about the original Final Fantasy, aside from the fact that it is the first Final Fantasy. The story is generic and the combat does nothing amazing, but the combat is still fun and the story is something you want to keep unraveling. As your group becomes stronger, you gain new levels, you learn new magical abilities, and you get new equipment. This is a simple RPG that does everything a good RPG needs to do. It has great music, great gameplay, and it feels good to level up your character and become bigger and stronger. Simply put, Final Fantasy 1 is a very important part of RPG history, and that's why it gets an official Stan Birdman rating of an 8.2 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, my friends.